So when you think ping pong, I'm sure the first things that come to your mind are words like sexy, right? Yeah. This year's hot new urban sport is table tennis, otherwise known as ping pong. It is actually catching on with a whole new crowd, including some of us right here on The Early Show. Jonathan Bricklin is co-founder of the new ping pong club, Spin New York. Good to have you with us this morning. This has become a huge craze. It's incredible. Everyone is playing ping pong. What, what is it about ping pong that, that has drawn so many people to it? I think it's just so simple that anyone can play ping pong. Eight-year-olds, 80-year-olds, like anyone can play. Is it like replacing pool for people now? I hope so. Well, ping pong is an Olympic sport, which is unique to billiards and bowling. Right. Um, but I, I think it's more social than billiards, like just inherently, or bowling. So I think it's going to continue. By social, do you mean more trash talking? More trash talking. <laughs> but you actually, you play face to face. Right. And so, you, so you're really involved. We actually, we have some, clearly some professionals here. Some of the best. Maggie and I are going to try our hand later. It's fascinating to watch, I have to say. Um, you mentioned that it's now an Olympic sport. They actually made some changes, too, in the last few years, so they'd be more TV friendly, so you can get more people involved. They made the, the ping pong ball a couple millimeters bigger, <laughs> so it could be filmed a little bit easier. There are a lot of ping yeah. pong balls flying around here. Actually, the balls being They're nice bigger, and light. they don't hurt as much. When they were a little bit smaller, they went faster. Then you could really and I think like, with it. Yeah, it could hurt. So you've opened this club here in New York, and have you seen, it's, you, you've had it open for about a year, is that right? Uh, just about six months. Oh, now. just about six yeah. months. So have you seen a really large increase just in that time, and is it word of mouth? Um, just even in the last month, we've almost doubled our business. But yeah, the, it's incredible how many people are interested in playing, and everyone that comes to our club is amazed at how much fun ping pong is. When, you know, you played as a kid, but you kind of forget. So how did you get involved? I bought a ping pong table on a whim three years ago with my uh, my friend. Okay. At, just, at a tag sale, you just saw it online and said, let's get a ping pong table. It was, We've it got was, a basement. Well, kind of. It was just really beautiful shape. And we bought it as a piece of art, and then we got sucked in, and we haven't stopped playing. Okay, so I hear that we can get sucked in very easily. I know, um, I think Maggie and I were going to try our hand at this, if I'm correct here. Here, here comes Maggie. I, I, was, I think you're on this side, I was cleaning side, up the studio. So there are a few running around. Morning. I'm going to head over okay. here, and we'll see. Uh, do you have any tips for us before yes, we start please. this? Um, I, I keep need your to know eye on the ball. Do. Keep okay. your eye on the ball. Focus on the ball. As simple oh, as that right. sounds, a lot of people forget. I don't even know how to hold this. Oh, well, that's, that's step one. one, right? I'm told there are three There are three steps, and Maggie and I are both breaking oh, wait, the first the rule because we're leaving our heels on. You're going to okay. focus on the ball. Focus on the ball. Bend your knees a little bit for mobility and balance. And keep the ball this? on the table. As simple as that sounds, just keep it on the table. Like okay. It does sound simple, but and I think it's probably a little bit more here. difficult. Okay. <laughs> and I write, too, that you should really wear you like know, sneakers or rubber-soled shoes. That's, that's to keep you from falling all over the place. It is. But at our club, we have women in high heels. I mean, oh, so you there can we go. wear flip-flops. You have pregnant women? Uh, I don't know if we've had any pregnant women. <laughs> no, you know, maybe, first. maybe happy hour tonight, we've Maggie. We've had babies. That sounds good. All right, keep your eye on the ball. Okay. Great. Oh, sorry. My bad. I was too aggressive, right? Okay. You gotta be softer. Yeah. All right. Take a little more. Too soft. Too hard. You still make soft. contact. In my world, when that counts. Thank you, Eric. You're your welcome. Dramatically. Oh, he's gonna pick my game up dramatically. There we go. I did Terrific. a little tennis backhand Ooh. there. I don't know if that I invented that. All right. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. I'll give it to the master. <laughs> I think she's on this side. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, you don't want me on your team anymore. Okay, so what, what do we need to do to improve here so that we can come and play at the club? You need to take a lesson from Wally All right. when we're done rolling. <laughs> well, it's that bad, huh? Well, you gotta hit it, you gotta hit it. How long have you been playing ping pong? About 70 years. Really? 70 years. And, is it, and you're I'm still turning... learning how to play. I'm improving all the time. And you're turning 80 next month, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it keeps the from the masters. Going. Marty is 80 years old, and he has challenged the the newest national Marty. champion, who is the youngest ever, a 15 year old. So a 15 year old versus an 80 year old, we're gonna have a. My money's on Marty. Yeah, me yeah. too. I think the takeaway is that this is fun at any age, and you never stop learning. Exactly. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back. You're watching the early show on CBS. <laughs> How do you serve? Down you want to see a cool serve? Wally should show you a serve. It wasn't too bad. Oh, I think we held our own. We held our own. Thank you.